So if anybody needs that form, let me know and I have it here for you. The, uh, the connection you need is anema. The connection you need is an EMA L1420 uh, four pump to this one. And we do have these uh, little spec sheets that are going around, and we can get that to you if anybody. Oh, actually, we have them here. So if you have yet to hook up your electrical, pick up one of these, and it kind of explains what you need. So he said if we did the electric up the code, does that mean that we I don't think so. You're just running one set of wires from one breaker. No, it's not that much. Rocket science. No. What is the requirement for the old septic concrete? Uh, old septics are supposed to be abandoned properly. That is under the uh, responsibility of environmental health. Which Garbage disposals are allowed. They're fine. Yeah. And uh, read the uh, sheet there about what you can and can't put down. On, um, yeah. Are there any other questions? I really appreciate y'all coming out in this cold to hear all this and uh, just. Uh, I, I just want to say one thing. I experienced with Joaquin, and he was amazing. So I just want to say. Thank you for saying that, and I was telling others earlier this morning, we were very fortunate in the contractors we got. Joaquin is amazing, because every parcel has been different. Each one has its own set of challenges, and he's been going over and above, helping us problem solve, helping accommodate, doing his best to uh, work with the property owners, and I just can't say enough about him and how easy it's been to work with him, and I'm, a, I'm really glad that you guys appreciate it as well. And Ray, who's been up here inspecting, he kind of yeah. runs her between the ice, send him off to this house and go drop something down. It's been really, for such a complicated project, it's actually been a pleasure. And I have to say, 98% of all you people have been an absolute pleasure to work with. And I really appreciate that, because in my line of work, I don't get to see that kind of stuff very often. <laughs> so. uh, before you don't pay them. Oh yeah, someone asked if they could paint the panels on the box. We want to strongly discourage that one. They won't hold paint, so they're going to look awful in a short amount of time anyway. But two, when our staff comes up and needs to uh, work with your grinder pump or your control panel, it's best that they're all uniform, they spot it easy, and we would strongly discourage anybody from painting that. The question was, if if we have our pipe there and you haven't run, your pipe is not connected to it yet, can you connect your own pipe? Mm -hmm. The answer is yes, but I would like to see it connected or take a picture of it or something so that we know there's not going to be a leak there. And that's all. If you're more than welcome to connect it. That's especially, some of these places, that's the last thing there is to do right mm -hmm. now. I don't know if it's making, you know, people are not going to come or whatever, but there, that's all that's left is this much between there and there to be hooked up. So, yeah, you can do that. Are you going to connect those? Are you, are you going to connect to the, the... In some cases, the contractor is doing that where it's within so many feet and there's there are some circumstances there. I'm not sure of the exact details. And 
Uh, some of that depends on your attitude as well. <laughs> Joaquin has um, consistently gone over and above and tried to be more than helpful with the property owners. And the, where the tank is, where their sewer line is, is going to take a tremendous amount of work of moving sidewalk, and she doesn't have the money for that. So what's going to happen? question is, um, one of the people that ran him off is going to require a lot of, um, I think, a longer line than what the grant was to pay for in uh, sidewalk and everything. And I can't speak to general terms because I don't know who you're talking about, but if it, if it's, if he goes through a sidewalk, um, he's going to report them. I know he has one property, he has to come back and report two sidewalks that they had to go through. So, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Without knowing specifically, I don't want to give an answer because I may be thinking somebody different than you're thinking. But um. back from vacation, the ditch between my house and my grinder pump was filled in, and I just want to say thank you, whoever did that. That was great, and I also want to say that my whole dug-up yard was left very neat and tidy, and and I wow. Thank you, and, and I'm glad that um, glad to hear you say that. Uh, some people have been wondering why they leave a trench or an opening as long as they do. And what they do is they're going through, and they might do, you know, five holes put in wet wells because they got the equipment out, and that's how it works. And then they come back and put in the wet wells, and then they come back and trench it in. So if they've left something open, they are putting orange tape up, and they're doing their best but it's not that they're moving on without finishing. I've had a couple people worried about that and they always go back and finish and they are leaving the place as, you know, as they found it, so. Thank you, I did not expect this many people to come out and break the cold and I really appreciate you all coming and being here. Senator McGuire is planning a ribbon cutting ceremony up here on July 7th, I believe it is. There will be more information as that comes together, but um, it will be a, a cause to celebrate when this long project is done. Thank you, everyone. One more thing that I forgot to mention, if you would like your sewer bill sent to a specific address other than what we may have on file, please write your address and where you'd like the bill sent on your paper up here.